guys, it's Amanda Shea, and we're here with La Rubens and Crafts today, and we have a guest, my cousin Angelica. Say hi, hi. everyone. Okay, so today we're going to be showing you how we created these DIY metallic wall grids. So basically what we did, we took our ribbons and we completely DIY'd them. So I went for more of a pinky gold vibe and she went for a more earthy vibe. It's a really easy DIY and honestly we're bored at home stuck in quarantine. So really what are we doing? And this is a long process depending which way you go. So turn on Netflix. Grab a show, grab some popcorn, grab your tools because it is gonna go down. If you wanna keep busy, this is what you're gonna wanna do. We're going to head on into our crafting space to get started. For this craft, you're going to need a wire wall photo grid. We had these already at the house. These are black. You can get them on Amazon. You can also find them on Target and you can find them already gold, which is a pro tip. But we already have these at the house. They're black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use gold spray paint to spray them gold. After the grid and the spray paint, you're only going to need a minimal amount of supplies, which includes a glue gun, some scissors, and a lighter. Okay, so we're outside, and the first thing that we're going to do is take pictures of the sunset. <laughs> okay, but actually, what we're going to do is spray paint our grid. We're gonna take gold metallic spray paint and spray in a well ventilated area, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and now that we have spray painted our grids gold and they are dry, we're moving into the decorating phase. I'm going for more a pink, gold, white, really classy, really girly look. What are you going for? She's bougie and I'm going yeah. for the earthy, like green and yellow mm -hmm. and natural stuff all happening. That explains us. Okay, so for this stuff, we're going to be primarily using inch and a half ribbons. This is our inch and a half in light pink. We have light pink, we had different yellow tones here to use for the back of the grid. But we're also going to be using some bigger whiffs, you know, because she's going for more of an earthy. I think I'm going to use more um, solid grow grains and some glitter grow grains. But she's going to be using some of our satin collection that have the earthy vibe. I might not be able to stay away from the glitter. I don't know. The, the green glitter grow grain is, is really pretty. Very pretty. Those are coming soon. I think they might be. To Lava Ribbons and Crafts. Coming soon. Um, okay, so first we kind of mapped out what we're going to do. Yeah, we're about to do the backing so we're of our grid. First and set up the bottom where we're going to have things hanging. What do you want to do? I feel like I would have one at the bottom. I figure that out. Because you just have to leave one open. You can work on the bottom while I work on this. Okay. So. Because we kind of only have one glue gun. So it kind of like we have to do different things. Okay, so we're gonna work on separate parts. She's going to take her grid and she's going to hang different ribbons from the bottom. That way she can hang crystals, rocks, pictures from the bottom that will elongate the board and give her more space to actually display some of her items. I'm going to do some of that as well, but right now what I'm going to do is do the back. So she's gonna do her bottom and I'm gonna do the back. Right. So regardless, the first thing that we have to do is cut ribbon. I'm going to take my inch and a half solid grow grain ribbon and I'm going to measure how much I'm going to need to cut. I might cut nine pieces of ribbon, but I might leave the bottom one open or I might tie everything and then put one on the bottom. So for now, you want to measure it where you have about an inch to a half of an inch of ribbon extra so you can fold it over and hot glue it. Okay, so tell them what you're doing. So, I had this idea to incorporate my journal into my grid because uh, I really like the design and it's something that represents me, but of course I still write in it. It's so pretty. So, I am attaching a string at the bottom here. Let me show you. This is from our natural collection of ribbons. Oh yeah, one of my favorite. I found it and I was like, I don't know. It's very pretty. And it's also durable, so for what she's doing, which is hanging her book at the bottom, it's going to really hold it into place. I think that you should also tie it, but we should also hot glue it to make sure like the, the knot really, and stay, hot glue. really stays there. Okay, so now I have cut out nine pieces of ribbon, and I'm going to take them 
and on all of them I'm going to just melt the edge of the ribbon if you've seen our DIY bookmark video then you'll see how this step is done but I'll show you one more time because it's super easy we're gonna take a lighter and we're going to just melt the edge of our ribbon right so we're gonna take it so that the flame is not directly on the ribbon it's just close enough that the heat will melt so we're gonna take it and we're just gonna like this just this, what this does, is prevent the ribbon from unraveling. So I've cut out four pieces of each of the ribbon that I want to hang from the bottom. I don't know if that'll be enough just yet, but I set a guideline for the ones I want to use and the pattern I want to use them, and I think I got something that I'm satisfied with. But the that? first thing I'm going to do is, since the hot glue gun is heated up now, is do what we said we were going to do earlier. And I think I'm going to put a... Ooh, Put a dot of glue on each corner, and then bring this down, glue it to the bottom, and then that way we don't have to worry about this rope moving um, anywhere else. It is going to hang in front of the ribbons hanging from the bottom, although that doesn't really matter. It can go either way because it's, it's there. It's there. Okay. Once I put that on the corner, I'm just gonna squeeze it and let him chill there. I think I'll probably, it's actually called quarterizing the ribbon. Um, what are you doing? I think that's what it is. Oh my I God. I think the word for it why, is quarterizing. Why have I not known that? I just know it prevents the ribbon from unraveling. Okay guys, I'm moving on to the next step of tying my ribbon in their little pattern at the end that of the grid. got going on at the end of my grid. Yeah. Putting a dot of glue in between each uh, ribbon that I'm tying together at the bottom so that they don't move around. Oh, it's so light when they don't move. Definitely recommend gluing them in place for sure. Okay, so now I'm going to start attaching my ribbons to my grid right here. So you're going to align your ribbon with one of the rows in the back of the grid. After we have lined it up with the back, we're going to take the ribbon ends and loop them through the corner boxes. Then we're going to use our hot glue gun to glue the ribbon ends to the back of the ribbon to keep them into place. We're about halfway through. At this point, I've done my whole bottom portion. I'm ready to move on to the part that she got done already while she moves on to the part that, that I got done already. She got, yeah. We shall swap now. Okay. And um, yeah, yet another tedious part of the activity that we already explained to you guys. So I guess we shall just work and then update you when we come back. To okay, so she finished that part. I finished the entire back of mine. Now I'm moving on to tying my ribbons at the bottom. Exactly what she did. I'm going a little shorter than you did though. After I did that, all I did was tie a double knot around the bottom of the board. I tied a couple on at a time. Then I use a glue gun to put one dot of glue in between each ribbon. That way it holds the ribbon into place and they don't move on the board. To make it a more polished look, I quarterize the top and bottom of each individual ribbon. I began this process by pre-cutting all of my ribbons about 10 inches. Now to wrap it up, I continued this process of tying, gluing, and quarterizing my ribbons until the entire bottom was completed. After this, we moved right into decorating. Okay, so we went ahead and decorated our individual boards off camera. So I just have some photos here. I have some cards and little knickknacks that I picked up from a trade show. I have a ribbons hanging here from the bottom. This is what took the longest for me. Because I used thinner ribbons and she used thicker ribbons, it took 
I want to say more than twice the amount longer. of time. <laughs> Significantly longer. Significantly longer. So definitely keep that in mind when you are picking out your ribbons because the skinny ribbons took so much longer than her wider ribbons. 100%. I love the way that it came out. I, it was exactly what I was going for. And I'm super obsessed to hang it on my wall. How did yours come out? I like a gold paper clips on yours. I didn't even realize. So mine is a like hub of my entire life. I found an old phone case with a mirror on it, which I thought was kind of fitting for it. That's um, so cute. All of my ribbons had to do with like earthy tones, boho vibes, all of like the greens and stuff like that because my room is green. Um, and when I first decorated it, I only put like these few pictures. Um, the San Paolo stick, I had like my rose here. And then when I went home, I added more things along the way. Like I found my Donald and these are magnetic, which is cool because you can put like little magnet things like that. Uh, Donald is chilling there. Yeah, that's very true. I have my old name tag, um, a note from one of my friends that she left me. And then I have ultimately my journal and a few of my necklaces hanging down here. Um, and my pen, he's chilling up here on his uh, perch where the paper so clips are at. So it's super functional. Um, I find it quite easy taking the journal off of here. Having the string helps. It really doesn't um, mess with the feng shui of my room. And all I did was screw a giant screw into the wall to hold up my little, my grid. If you don't want to use a screw, what you could do is you can get command hooks from Target. Okay, so these are our finished products. Thank you so much for joining us here at La Ribbons and Crafts. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye. Bye.